Hey everyone, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Once again, here's another gaming computer. The story behind this, this is a student in college. He wanted to upgrade his computer. He had a pretty darn old motherboard and processor. So that's basically, he went on PC Parts Picker and that's basically what he has replaced. He has replaced his motherboard and his processor. I don't know which one it is yet. I just got this in and he had to buy new RAM because he had DDR3 RAM. This is DDR5. I have confirmed that. He kept his same graphics card. I don't even know what that is. I will look that up here shortly. And unfortunately, he kept his same power supply. So, which I think is a bad idea, especially if you have a pretty darn old computer. You know, you, you really want to give it a nice, fresh, clean power supply, you know, to, uh, to go with your new parts. But hey, this is what the guy went with. It's out of my control. Looks like he has a hard drive here. It looks like he has an SSD here. Of course, a good old DVD drive there up top. So he's put it all together. And he says when he powers it on, he doesn't get a post. You know, well, basically he says the screen doesn't come on. He doesn't get a post. And of course, the first thing that I do is take visual looks at everything here. The RAM looks like it's seated in nicely. The 24 pin looks like it's seated in very good. It looks like the CPU power. Oh, wait, his CPU power. That doesn't look like it's plugged in all the way to me. Go on this side and look. It's not. Wow. I bet you. I don't know. I wonder if I can get you guys a better look at this. Isn't that something? Uh, let me see if I can get a better look at this for you. How am I going to do that? See if I can see if you guys can see this. Let's see. So this is from the back side of the case. I don't know if that makes sense. You can see right there. Uh, there is a gap. This is your CPU power right there. And let's take a look at it from the other side. Ah. How about that? Look at that. Could that possibly be a problem? Could that be the problem? It doesn't look like it's plugged in all the way to me. Let's turn this thing on and see what happens when we power it on. I'm curious. So let me plug it in here. Hit the power button. Okay, we did get a fan spin up for a minute here. The CPU fan is spinning. Look at this. It's kind of hard to tell, but there are two lights that are on, an orange and a red side by side. One of them is a CPU, one of them is a RAM. So it's hung up in there somewhere. I think the very first thing I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to power this off. It's not posting at all. Power it off. We're going to drain the capacitors by holding down the power button. Can this really be the problem? I'm going to push down on this and get it to snap on a little better. Oh, I just heard two clicks. Both sides were not plugged in all the way. Wouldn't this make an interesting video, huh? Let's try this. Power it, plug it in. Came right up this time. It powered right on. Yeah, but guess what? Those same two, oh, it moved. Look at that. He's going to post. It's rebooting, it's doing it again. We have a post, everyone. How about that? He posted. Well, I think I should charge him about $225 for that. That's his bad mistake. I'm just joking. I'm just going to charge him a bench fee. Just goes to show. You have to check your connections. Very simple thing. Check your connections. I kind of called that out without even turning it on. Anyways, what a fun video this was. I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.